Buzz, the buzz, the buzz, buzz, buzz. 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 So when you're, when you're a guitar company, you're doing buzz for a new product, you should take notes from Foitano, one of my favorite rappers. I think he's from the Czech Republic, I think, right? Do you, do you know where he's from? I have no idea. Dude, I, I have his CDs. That's how much I like this guy. Who has CDs anymore? But I don't know. we've been a big fan of his. Like his, he's a great rapper. He um, he raps over there, but he plays guitar and stuff. He's just cool, man. So like, if you haven't checked him out, go on Spotify or something. Check out Boy Tanya. He knows how to do PR. Or with, order his CDs. Order his CDs. He'll send them to you from Czechoslovakia. Um, I think that's right. I, I, if I'm saying stuff wrong, I'm sorry. If I got, but I, I think his music's great. We play it in the shop quite a bit. And people are like, what is this? I'm like, it's, it's awesome. So shut up. I'm done. What are we talking about? Buzz. <laughs> Buzz. Well, lead us in there. I know we're not I want fret to, buzz. Not fret buzz. Not fret we haven't buzz. done that in a while. The buzz around a new product. Yes. A new <laughs> guitar is coming out. You got the buzz. You got to have it. You got to get your hands on it. You put your pre order in. You but got, then you got two years to wait. Now, that seems to be a really weird way to do a product release, isn't it? I think yeah. it makes perfect sense. And we're speaking in like super guitar yes. shoppery terms like product and skew lines. And mm. no, it is because we deal with this every day um, yes. but but every every few months each major manufacturer has a product cycle where they're gonna have NPI's new product introduction um, and and it's awesome we love it because it's I, very I was, cool I was talking with the guy on YouTube the other it's day exciting. He, yeah he, it is exciting right it is and that's what it is like we get jazzed about it um, like kind of like this NPI of like this casino TV it's a lot like that, that when that happened I was like this is cool so I wear it and it smells so bad most of the time but anyway um, but I can get it immediately I click and order it and it's there Teespring, do it Teespring. down there somewhere. Yeah, it's yeah. below in the ethosphere. Yes. It's like floating around if you haven't enlarged the whole screen, which I highly recommend because we're, we're fun to look at in full HD. We're not. But um, no, it's, um. so we, yeah, I was talking with a guy on YouTube just this morning. Um, He's like, yeah, I didn't like any of the new products, like yuck, thumbs down or something like, but you know, that's what for Fender you're saying. And I was like, I actually like some of them, but besides the point, if Fender was just making your Strat and your Tele, they'd be out of business by now. Like, absolutely. No, like, no, they wouldn't. I'm like, they would have been out of they business in 1984. Would. Yeah. Um, most likely, it would have been, it had been over kaputs. It almost was out of business. People don't realize that. Gibson's been bankrupt, you know, and then they've almost had their own issues too. But it's the the new stuff is the lifeblood of the guitar companies. Yeah. It's it gets new buyers interested. Even if those new buyers buy that new stuff only to realize they just want to play Stratatelli. Which is it's, the route you get back to. <laughs> it's still, that's that. I mean, that it's something's got to get people interested and get them in there. So, But the real point of this video is to talk about um, like when a new guitar company has a new product, a new guitar release, and they're like, yes, take your pre-orders now. The shops can release it. We're all excited about it. We take the pre-orders. We got them. By the way, you're going to see this in a year and a half. 2029. <laughs> yeah, and we're not talking not about custom one. shops. We're no. We're talking about like, you know, crazy core things. Um, nope. We're talking about like a standard run. Production model stuff. You know, it, albeit like, you know, let's say it's Gibson, Fender, PRS, whatever. But um, I, I think this is happening a lot with certain companies more than others. But, but Fender's done a really cool thing with this last, like the new product launch. Kind of crazy. It's like those guitars have already shipped. We announced them on Saturday. They have shipped to us by before we even put the video out, which is crazy, which is an awesome, awesome. So if you want that Corey Wong Strat and you're like, yeah, I want it. Cool. It's going to be here by Friday from Fender. You know, if you wanted the, um, the new J mask, as tell you who doesn't want is bottle rocket blue sparkle. It's true. Top loaded bridge. It's kind of weird, but, um, but that's kind of, it's neat. It's different. He did most of his solos on that. And, um, it, it just, they're already on their way. It, which the screamadelica <laughs> and and like that has not been the case for most of the lines from most of the manufacturers there it's crazy wait times and yeah so the question is does that buzz wear off like if i give you my money and I say hey i really want this new thing and you're like cool put a deposit down and then two years pass and then you're like hey jonathan your crazy thing you ordered two years ago is here do i care anymore I mean, this this literally happened with one of my favorite people. Um, her name is Natasha, and like we're working with her right now. She's fantastic. But, um, she is she, very. She, she's delight, she, delightful. Is the word I yeah, would use. Yeah, she ordered a PRS. Um, yes. I believe a studio. If I just correct me if I'm wrong, but and like you know, a good ten top thing. Like when the right yeah. when the release came out, we were literally like I think a week or two behind the order when when it first got announced. But then she put in her PR. I was like, yeah. cool, I got you. And like, okay, well that's going to be like 2022. So I'm like, wait, what? 
but this and we didn't know this until like the to the the backlogs keep pushing right back. but she's totally cool about it. like we're gonna figure something out she'll get the guitar or she'll get something else it's yeah. amazing but um it's just it's sort of it stinks though because i want the guitar like if you're gonna i feel as a manufacturer when i announce a new guitar that's like going to be a hot item, right. i feel like you should have those guitars kind of built well it's you know? yeah i mean and I feel like in the past, that was kind of the deal, right? Maybe you announce it at NAM, it's going to be ready whenever. And it could be, you know, a few months or later in the year, but you can't take pre-orders really until a month out or something. No, we have some huge, there's going to be some huge Fender releases coming later this fall. It's pretty big things, like we can't talk about them yet. But, you know, we're not taking pre-orders on them because it's obviously, it's there's a embargo on them for us to release. And that's awesome, I'm cool with it, whatever. Yes. But... It's, you know, they're going to be ready. Right. Too. They're gonna, we're going to get the guitars, and then the product release happens a day later. So we get the, we have the guitars like for a day, maybe a week in advance sometimes before the embargo lifts, and then we can do our videos, yep. prep our websites, and have them ready for a day of sale. Or they're bam, bam. So when they're, when they're announced to the public, I, I've always felt like once the guitar is announced to the public, it should be like there should be a definite day. Go play it, yeah. Not, you know, two years down the road. So do you think that all these manufacturers, and this is tricky, and I can see it both ways. Yeah, I've gone do, on do you think they should stop announcing new products, stop planning that until they get called up? I was going to say yes until Fender just like knocked it out with this one. The fact that they like we saw the new, new guitars, and then those new guitars are on their way to casino guitars as we're talking right now. They're in a FedEx truck somewhere. But then devil's advocate, what about the people who ordered stuff that exists and they get kind of sort of, the can gets kicked down the road <laughs> for, it, I mean, for I however well, long. It didn't get kicked down okay. further. Because like the way, the way the production companies work is they have sort of build slots set for each product. Right. And, it's, and, it's, and they, they've sort of future planned, they have to have the NPIs, yep. new products. Um, and that's just, it is a lifeblood of the company. And if you've watched Fender for the past five, six years, You'll notice their CEO, who is awesome, and he plays guitar, and he rocks Sabbath as well, and he's Scottish. <laughs> anyway, um, he um, he is big about NPIs, all about it. Like, and that that, and he knows it's how exciting it, it does. You know? And like, and they Fender has skewed it properly, where like they have build slots set because they there's not going to be like five thousand Scream Adelica Primal Scream. Like, you know, there's not going to be five thousand J Mask Telles. There's not going to be five thousand Corey Wong Strats. Right. There might be 5,000 Jagstangs, you know, the Kurt Cobains, if you count the four different SKUs in that alone, the two colors and then the left-handed and right-handed options. Left-handed, awesome, finally, good job on making that like a standard release with that one. Off we the should bat. order left-handed ones and flip them. Dude, that's a good idea. And then we could play them. We, and just not tell people we flip them either. It'd be like, you guys are amazing. Yeah. You guys are like, we're just, we're that talented. You know, I learned this on TikTok. So um, maybe, and I could see, okay, just thought about this. The other side of it, right, is you pay for this thing, two years goes by, you kind of put it in the back of your brain, you forget about it, and then it's there, and it's like Christmas to yourself. And I'm okay with that too, like just like the King of Tone. I was about, that's what made me yeah. think about it, is you being on the King of Tone list, right? Because you put your name on there, I you never forget think about, about it, it again. and then one day you get the email, and you're like, holy crap, I'm getting King of Tone. And, and as soon exciting. as Languedoc, like Paul, like lets me be on his list, I'll be like, that's awesome. If it takes two years, if it takes five years, either way. Can I borrow some money? Sure. Okay, because I'll need money for that one. King of Tone, I can afford. I got 10 bucks. The language 10 bucks for the calls. Just give me a little more than that. The language is going to hurt a little bit further. You could go fund it. But it, no, it's exciting because new, new guitars and products are, are the life. Like we, so we had this, I met this new friend of mine over the weekend. I was in the shop on Saturday, and this cat comes in. I'm not going to say his name right now because yeah, I'll say it later maybe. But I kind of like to keep the name secret. That's fair. Um, but, but he works at Martin Factory. Nope. And he was here... Believe it or not, on his honeymoon, not to my guitar shop for his honeymoon, but he was in like Myrtle Beach or Carolina okay. Beach or something, right. South something beach. And he's, he's, I'm, I'm calling him the Samoan Superman because he's, he's a big dude, you know, but he works in, he works in production of Martin, he makes guitars. And like this, he was telling me about some of the new Martins coming out, like no. can't talk about it. Hush, it hush. sounds really cool. It's exciting. But, um, you know, that dude, he works at a guitar factory, builds guitars for years. Um, side note, his wife is way above his pay grade. Mm -hmm. 
way above. She's like brilliant and she's gorgeous and she was patient. And then they had their like best friend was on their honeymoon with them, which I loved. <laughs> but anyway, but he works at a guitar factory and he gets just as excited about the hype. Like he left with an awesome amp and we had a great, we hung out for like hours. That is awesome. And then they stuck his beautiful little wife in the back of the pickup truck, literally like stuck between like, she wasn't in a chair. She was in like the back section of it. Not the cat, the, in the cab, but no seat folded into okay. like this little right. blanket Just area. Just like a little back. You I mean, know, like she not wasn't that small, but I was like, man, that's amazing. But that dude was cool as heck. And um, yeah. And I think we're going to be friends. He's going to be my, my inside man at, at Martin. I knew we'd get one eventually. I, I, I mean, I've got a few other cats that I know, but like this guy, I like this guy though. He's, he's the, um, and he's weird. He's crazy. He's, I, I missed him. He's a guitar nerd. And, um, but he was just nerding out about the new stuff coming from Martin, nerding out all the new, like the cool magnetone stuff and, oh, and all the, I know like, and I was telling him about you getting, you're going to do the oh. duel because I think he ended up with a varsity reverb. Oh. Um, and so he's got like, he, he took our last one. It was, it was, but it's, man, he's, what a cool cat though. Anyway, but, you know, so that's, so we all get, even if you're in the industry, which we all are, um, it, it, you still get jazzed up. I have never, I still get very excited. It's, it's exciting. I mean, like, I don't know. I, I would be so sad if it stopped being exciting. That wouldn't be fun. I know. If I ever see like an email from the Samoan Superman that he's like, I just don't care about guitars anymore. I'm going to end it all. I'm going to go work for like a paper manufacturer. I'm like, no, no. You stay where you are, young sir. It's true. And you work it out. You'll be head of operations one day one if day. you stick through it. It's true. Maybe have a seat for your wife in the pickup truck. Then maybe he can buy a seat. Can, can, he can, can afford an extra up. seat. Um, God. I don't. I, I'm still waiting on that. You know, yeah. I just stopped buying magnetones and things, no, so you, I can afford my wife's one seat. Yeah, your wife doesn't deserve a seat. <laughs> She's fine. She's fine. <laughs> she knows her place. It's cool. No. And if you guys haven't, like, because I, um, it was. I think it was just recently. The it could have been the 30th anniversary of Thelma and Louise recently. Oh. I think it was something like a big one. It was like a crazy, like, I was just thinking about driving and a road trip when you said that, because we're getting ready to take a road trip to Nam anyway. But, um. Yeah, it's probably but, more than that. But, no, yeah. they just had a big anniversary and they like, had big screens and like, that. that's a fun road trip type of idea. If you haven't watched Thelma and Louise, Louise ever, check it out. One of Brad Pitt's finest <laughs> <laughs> moments. Like everyone's, it's a great, it's a great movie. I got to see it again. I, I was watching Star Trek, the, the first of the relaunch, the J.J. Abrams last no, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That movie is way better than I remember it to be. I had watched it in a so long much fun, so much fun. I'm watching it with my my three kids, and it's thoroughly enjoyable. How old is that movie now? Like, it's probably ten years old. Dang, that, that, old. that ballpark. Um, I think I'm guessing, but it, it's it still holds up. It's it's tons of fun. It's tons of fun, and you got Thor's in it. Spoiler alert: He doesn't make it too long, but um, great, but great, great joy if you got kids and you haven't watched it. Anyway, back to guitars, Buzz. Buzz. Um, yeah. Um, I'm. That about it, buzz. The well, buzz. no, but it's, it is true. You asked that one question: Should guitar manufacturers hold off? I think they should hold off if the guitar is not going to be ready within a year. I don't think it's I don't think it's fair to consumers or guitar shops to have the capital tied up. You know, future forecast capital for it's us. Tricky, yeah. Or if like, I mean, we do with all these lines anyway. Like, but but just with this, if it's like a sort of a basic thing. It should be if if you're going to release and do a huge marketing push have guitar built maybe take a page out of the old fender playbook and you know set aside build slots maybe now, try to catch up while you release some of these new but things. who is the master of marketing i will get like say pr sort of drops the ball on that sometimes but they know how to sell a guitar with john mayer incorporated <sighs> like hey we got a new guitar it's pink sweet pre-sales done i gotta have one our entire allotment sold out like in a minute uh, i think we have a couple left that we can get and then it's before i mean again before we're waiting a year and a Forever. half. Yes. Like we'll have some that are showing up that are somewhat ex expedited. Like yes. this year, that means like in 2022. <laughs> right. Would you know? But which is fast as heck. Do you remember the old days when we'd order a guitar and then it would just be here like, like two weeks? Like three 30 weeks. days max. 30 days. Oh yeah, 30 days to build that. God. No, no longer. So let us know what you think. If you're okay waiting, I'm okay waiting. But um, I'm curious to know what everybody else thinks. It's all how you frame it in your mind, I suppose. Yeah, so we want to hear in the comments. Hit like and subscribe. If you have not already, click that bell so you don't miss videos in the future. We appreciate you hanging out with us. Come see us at NAM if you're around in Nashville this coming week. Talk to you guys later. Wild horses. They're wild stallions. That's what it was. <laughs> wild stallions.